Today I'm going to do a quick review on this baby monitor video camera system by Baby Womb World. You do get your instruction pamphlet, some warranty information. Um, you get two chargers, one for the camera, one for the monitor. Then you have your aux cable, then your monitor, and your camera. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull these cords out of here. Um, the aux cable is for you to connect the monitor to a bigger screen, whether it's your TV or like a monitor screen, um, just so you can display whatever it is on a bigger screen. We'll go ahead and look at the camera first. Um, this is what it looks like. And on the front you have your microphone and then your speakers down here. On the back we have the charging port. This is a temperature sensor. And then you have your LED light and a power button. The LED light is your pretty much your battery status light. Um, it's going to flash green when the battery is low, it's going to be orange when it's charging, and then when it's fully charged it's a solid green. Um, because this can be used wirelessly, uh, you can charge it and then unplug it and put it wherever you need it. Uh, I did a battery life test on it and I got about an hour and 35 minutes out of it. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's kind of typical. I'm not 100% sure of what other video camera systems do. Um, to me, that's not really a big deal because I don't really have a problem leaving it plugged in all the time. Um, I used a regular baby monitor before and the receiver always had to be plugged in. So I don't really have any issues with keeping it plugged in. Um, but if you're going to be using it wirelessly, then that is something to think about. And then we have the monitor. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it's a really nice compact size. Um, it's not really bulky or anything. It does have a 3.5 inch display. It has LCD color. And then at night, it does have the infrared night vision. Some of the functions that we have on here, this is actually your menu key. Then you have OK. Uh, this button here is actually allows you to turn the display on and off. So if you just want to use it as a regular monitor and you don't really need the camera on, you can actually push the button and turn it off. It's kind of like a energy saving feature. And then you have your microphone and then you have your direction keys here. Um, these are going to be used to navigate the menu and also to adjust the different angles of the camera because it can rotate and you can adjust it remotely, which is really nice. You have your microphone here at the top and then these are actually lights. Um, this first one lights up red when you have it plugged in and charging. The next one lights up green when it is turned on. And then these four are actually volume detecting lights, I guess you could say. Um, anytime that there is noise detected on the camera, it will light up here based on the volume. Um, so you're going to have four blue lights that light up here based on the volume of the noise that the camera picked up. Uh, and then here on the side we have the power button. This is your aux cable port and then your charging port. Um, on the back we have an antenna that pops up. You have a stand that pulls out and then this is your speaker. Um, and then it sets up really nice like that. Um, overall, I really like it. I think it works really well. Um, it's very easy to use. They pair really easily. I didn't have any issues with them connecting to one another. Um, I do like the two-way talkback feature. I think that's really nice. Um, it's easy to use. You just push the microphone button on the monitor and it comes through the camera. So I do really like that feature. Uh, also like the idea that I can easily adjust the camera um, from the remote or from the monitor and I don't really have to get up and actually adjust it. I can just kind of do it there and if I want to turn the camera around and kind of look at something else I can do that as well um, just from where I am. And I also like the different features that the monitor has. Um, it does have a voice activation mode where it's like an energy saving feature and it will actually, if you turn it on, then the display will stay off until it detects noise. Anytime that it detects noise, it will flip the display on and then that way you can see and then it will go off. And you do have different settings that you can set it to in order for the volume that it has to reach in order for it to kick on. So if it's just like a little noise and you set it to a higher volume, then it's not going to kick on until the noise is actually louder. Um, 
So I do like, you know, that you do have these features that you can choose from. I think that's really nice. Um, but like I said, overall, I do like it. Um, and like I said, with the camera, it can be used wirelessly. Um, the monitor, I did a battery life test on it as well. And I turned the brightness completely up on the screen, turned all of the energy saving features off and left it on. And with a full charge, I got an hour and 53 minutes out of it um, before it started beeping, telling me that I needed to charge it. So I thought that was pretty good. And if you are interested in possibly purchasing this or just checking it out further, I will put the link in the description below and thanks for watching. So here's the monitor on and as you can see it is nighttime. So you have your infrared night vision on. Um, up here at the top you have your signal strength and then you have camera one. Um, you do have the ability to connect up to four cameras. Uh, so this is just telling you that it is on camera number one. And then you have your temperature from the temperature sensor, and then there's a little moon because it's at night, and then this is your battery life. Um, pull up the menu here, and this is what your menu looks like, um, just here at the bottom. This is your volume, and then when you go over, you have your brightness, and then it actually has a lullaby feature, and you can play three different songs, or you can put it on a repeat and then you can stop it. You do have the ability to zoom in and out um, on there, as you can see. And then this VOX here, the next one, is your voice activation mode. Uh, and then as you can see, like I said, there are three different settings and then you can just have it off. Um, and then the last, well, this option here, is for, you can see it, it's really hard when it's at night vision. Um, this one here is for you to add different cameras if you have more than one. You can actually add them, delete them, select the one that you want to do, or you can do a scan option where it will just go through all of the cameras that you have connected to it. Um, and then the last one here is the temperature and it just allows you to put it in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, so that is the um, monitor on um, and then here's this just shuts the display off and then turns it right back on um, so that's what it looks like um, I don't have any complaints about it I personally I like it I think it works well I do think the price might be kind of high um, that's my only I think concern with it is the price point is just a little bit higher but it does have a lot of features it does have you know different settings that you can use so I'm not 100% sure how it compares to other ones because this is the first one that I've owned and actually used um, but honestly it's just a matter of personal opinion and personal preference I would recommend it um, I think it like I said it works well the features are nice